so hello everybody so um please uh remember to allow christ to be the lord over your life um allow christ to reign in your heart and live for him every day okay also remember to read your bible every day remember to stay in prayer um and also worship okay i have a worship and praise music playlist on my channel and you can find that playlist on my channel so uh today's word is inspired by luke chapter 4 verse 18 and i'll read that verse and it says the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised so um, according to Luke chapter 4, verse 18, the spirit of the Lord is upon me, right? And he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to heal those that are brokenhearted, and so on, okay? Because the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Um, yeah, God has given me uh, this duty, right? And that's um, to preach the gospel to the lost, okay? Um, there's so many lost souls out here, um, and they definitely do need to hear this gospel so they can be delivered from their sins and its consequences, okay? Just why I come on here almost every day to preach this gospel, okay? Um, and it also says, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me to preach the gospel to the poor, okay? So there may be people that's watching that may have financial problems, right? So, just know that, you know, when you seek God, God will take care of you, okay? When you seek Him, you know, He's going to deliver you from your financial hardships, okay? So, please seek Him, okay? So, He can deliver you from this, your financial hardships, okay? And um, something else is, uh, as Christians, right, um, we're supposed to be concerned with uh, poverty, right? Extreme poverty, so um, there's many people in third world nations that can't even afford, uh, they can't even afford, you know, um, well, excuse me, they don't have access to clean water. People in third world nations, right? They don't have access to clean water, healthcare, education. Um, maybe they're living on maybe a few cents a day, you know, so they can't have a proper full meal. So this is what Christians are supposed to be concerned with as well. Um, human rights okay so fighting for uh the human rights of those that are disadvantaged okay and many of those uh, many of those lives that we have to fight for are those that are living in it in extreme poverty as well okay so we gotta uh be con as christians we have to be concerned with human rights okay um maybe speak out against this injustice um um so yeah, that's what we have to be concerned with as Christians, okay? Because according to Luke chapter 4, verse 18, it says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me to preach the gospel to the poor, okay? So I just want to let uh, those with financial hardships, I want you, I want you to know that um, there's hope for you, okay? If you seek God, God is going to deliver you from your financial hardships. Um, and hopefully, you know, the people that live in third world nations that are dealing with extreme poverty hopefully um there will be more christians you know that will begin to speak out against uh, injustice against uh these people that are living in in extreme poverty hopefully there'll be more christians they'll be able to speak out against this injustice and maybe do something about it okay um i think a lot of um a lot of extreme poverty it stems from government corruption okay um governments are not they're not giving their poor you know they, they don't care about their poor okay they're depriving their poor of their basic uh needs okay so that's definitely uh something that has to be addressed you know christians you know we have to begin to spread awareness about that you know and hopefully we can do something about it too okay um
um uh something something else you know something that just came to mind was uh the apostles okay they also um or was it christ i think it was christ he he talked about uh visiting like hospitals like going to the hospitals and visiting those that are sick um and also prisoners as well you know visiting jail inmates and preaching the gospel to them you know hopefully you know uh, more christians will be able to be able to do this as well okay to visit hospitals and uh visit those that are inmates that are in prison to preach the gospel to them okay um of course you know doing more charities and things like that okay hopefully um the body of christ we could do more of that okay So um, the point is, uh, this gospel is the good news. Um, it's hope, you know. It's supposed to be that hope for the lost, okay. Um, or those that are forgotten, or those that has been, those that have been uh, deserted, you know. It's that hope for them, you know. Um, that's what this gospel is meant to be, okay. Um, so that's why we have to preach it and not just preach the gospel but do what the gospel says okay we have to feed the poor um we have to we have to preach the gospel to the lost okay pray for those that are sick and do a lot of charities and things like that you know so hopefully you know um, the body of christ we could get that all done okay so <laughs> that's today's message okay so uh, again you know today's message is inspired by luke chapter 4 verse 18 and it says the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised so that's luke chapter 4 verse 18 so god bless everybody that will see this okay so and it also says um the spirit of the lord is upon me to preach deliverance to the captives okay uh so there's a lot of people that may be uh imprisoned maybe mentally um so i'm here to you know also help to free your mind from this mental imprisonment you know um depression can imprison you mentally anxiety can imprison you mentally um lim limiting beliefs can imprison you mentally so i'm here to uh again you know preach the gospel to set you free from your limiting beliefs from your depression from your anxiety okay and